Okay, looks like we're in a older, an older section. This, 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 uh, this marker is pretty cool. Look at all the little, the little animal figures around it, and the, that back, the etching on the stone, a cord, a cord. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's on the back side too. That's neat. Or well, maybe this is the front side and that was the back side. Charles. Charles Haskell. And then Virginia Lee might still be around. So what did we read that the first person buried here was in 1876 or 1879 I want it what do you want you want what I just love these markers. They are so neat. Johnson looks like he's got some kind of truck in the in his marker here. Maybe he was a truck driver or some kind of construction worker. Maybe it's a farming implement. That's pretty neat. Uncomfortable. Uh, you're uncomfortable? <clears throat> Are you in heaven? I thought heaven was supposed to be nice. Not uncomfortable. Moron. Excuse me? <laughs> Moron. I believe I've just been insulted. I've just been called a moron. Oh, look at this. This is, has a Frontier Airline plane in, engraved in it. You think he was a pilot, possibly? Mm. Yeah. Cool. Hmm. Look at this Paley. Pelly. Paley. Found our love at a dance. April 8th, 1957. I want to come. Where do you want to come? You want to come with us? Well, you can follow us around if you'd like. Here's another, another pretty neat looking marker column. Clifford A. Out of all the cemeteries we've been in so far I have not ever seen so many decorated headstones at least not like these are all mountain mountain views grandfather who's the grandfather I'm a grandfather You know, that's a good point. Wendy says probably every guy out here was a grandfather. Mm -hmm. She's probably very true about that. Look, here's one. Courtesy, Curtis Leroy Durham. Loving husband, father, and grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Teeter. I had some teeters in my family. But it wouldn't sound like that, was it? it I think it, 
You think so? I'm not sure. <laughs> this is a uh, Eugene. A Eugene was a uh, a war veteran. Served in the Korean War and the Vietnam War. Well, thank you for your service, sir. And this person here is a Mason. Yeah, the Masonic, the Masonic symbol there. Come inside. Ah, uh, no, thank you. <laughs> and this one, oh, this is neat. Hi. You think this guy was a truck driver? That's young, 63. Hmm, he was born after I was and passed away quite a few years before me, so. Hmm. Well, it goes on for quite a ways over that direction. It's a pretty good big cemetery here. Did we read, was this the one that said there's like over 2,400? But I'm thinking there's a lot more than that. It said 4,000. Maybe it was 4,000, but I still think there's more than that. But ooh, I could be wrong. Slave. Slave. Were you a slave? Here's Walker. 1856 to 1933. He could have been in the, a, around in the slave era. I still can't get over that y'all call me a moron. I'm hurt. Hmm. I don't know if I'm gonna walk all the way over there or not. Maybe so. What else do we do? Got to do. I think this must be the earliest one I've seen, born in 1858. She did pass away in 1930. Mary E. McGinnis. I'm not sure who she is. I like this headstone. Kosar Petrini. Looks like maybe, maybe the wife. Dorothy is still around. I like the uh, the boot with the flowers in it. Is there anybody want to make a comment, say anything? <clears throat> I'm here to listen. If you like talking, I'm here to listen. My spirit box has gone kind of quiet. Uh, got a nice view here on the mountains off in the distance. Let's see, Wendy says she found something interesting. Let's go look and see. Grandmother. Grandmother. Well, we had grandfather. Now we have grandmother. I've seen several of these teeter headstones in different places. I wonder if they're all related. Oh, look at this. The Owens. I don't know what that says. Tanya, oh, Tanya Kayleen Schultz. Dorothy Owens, 
June of 1971 to November of 2009. About 40 something years old. Got some what? What? I am just looking at your marker and the bench. This is very nice. Very nice. I love this cemetery. This is really nice. Let me go over here and I'll give you a kind of a shot over the valley. You can see the mountains off in the distance. Where are we? Well, you are at the Fairview Craig Cemetery here in Craig, Colorado. Did you find? Oh, Wendy found something interesting. Let's go look. I wonder if somebody's buried in this little spot. It's pretty much sunken into the ground. And this. John Prime. That's a lot of words written, <laughs> written into this. If you want to put the video on pause and read that, you're more than welcome. This is the front side. Celia Ruth Williams, Timothy Ralph, 1950. Oh, they just passed away. Oh, this one just passed away last month, July 5th, 2024. This one, Timothy's still around, looks like. Possibly. That's a, that's a nice uh, marker, though. Headstone. Did you find anything interesting? Well, I found Charles, but nothing So I think down here below us is the main main highway freeway road back to back to steamboat we're about what i think we're about 40 miles or so west of steamboat here's another one that has quite a few words etched into it i'm not going to stand here and read it to you but you're welcome to put us on pause and read it yourself. <laughs> Van Tassel. I like that headstone too. It's got a nice, uh, nice scene, scene uh, etched into it. Now this one's not very old. 1923 to 2014. This is kind of at the the front of the cemetery. Hmm. And my my spirit box has gone quiet again. You know, off of the distance, you can see. 
the main highway heading east you keep going for another hundred miles or so and you'll hit you'll hit the border of Colorado and Utah about a hundred miles east just keep going straight down that freeway right in front of us came to see what all these markers were about several kind of in a line here they don't see oh these are some more now these are all more uh, war veterans 